Hey guys and welcome back again to my channel. Today we will be playing the one event that uh, have been left untouched because I've been busy completing the previous event and trying to uh, like compile the recordings and try to upload it to YouTube. And not only that, I have also been busy trying to reach perfection on of course, this is Windbloom, and there is, there is one of my, uh, I forgot the precise name, but you're just playing instruments, and you're trying to get the perfect score on it. Uh, I was playing that one song, uh, the, the violin songs, I think it was called, like, um, I don't know, it's in Latin, I, la it's in uh, Latin, I suppose. Uh, it has Termini in, the, in uh, the title. That's the song I'm most familiar with, and that's the song I get a good score for the first time I play uh, this event. I mean, not this event, but the music event. And now, here I'm going to a little bit more chill today. Uh, this is just basically this fiber crystal research. We've done this before in the chasm. This is our second time. And because uh, we're trying to be chill, chill, trying to read conversation, trying to understand everything that uh, this guy said, I also got myself some drinks. bit of ASMR, that's my juice, it's actually pretty good, let me just drink it out. Amazing, let's continue. So, we're basically helping another researcher again, as if um, it's not our first time helping researchers, as always. Um, this one, this guy's from uh, Fontaine, same guy who invented the camera with a K. And now, today, it's the same exact thing as the previous one in the chasm. We're just going to go to a researcher that needs help, and then we're helping them by fighting. Hmm, sounds like it. Definitely not the kind of thing we have before, right? And well... So, basically... This story tells us about a researcher trying to do an experiment on something that is not so easy for a typical researcher to do. With our experimental results, he went to Liyue directly and set his experimental up here. Okay, finally finish the research project. And I assume that this was the thing we, we did in the chasm before. We had this exact event before in 2.7 update, the chasm update basically. And so, here it says, his experiment here were an illegal act. That was weird. I mean, if you are doing experiments with humans, there are uh, ethics codes about that, but I don't know illegal in a sense like that. Patrick insists over that data completeness was, yes, it, uh, we helped him. We definitely helped him before. So we're going to hear it. Yes, it's it's kind of, it's kind of like institution or something like that. It's kind of like uh, the kind of thing going on with universities now nowadays. They try to aim as much research as possible, not higher quality research, as uh, suggested, because uh, they aim for reputation. They don't aim for quality. I mean, some of them do, not all of them, but some of them try to aim for reputation more than quality. I think this is the exact, this exactly sums up Fontaine here uh, currently. And boom. Explosion the catastrophe experimental. Yes, there's something uh, fizzy going on in this region. Uh, it's, it is, to sum it up, it's similar to Sumeru based on like the research something or stuff like that. Basically, every single event we've played from the beginning of this game, no, 
I mean, from the from the first time this game was released up to today, we've been helping researchers and re all of those researchers, all of them, no exceptions, must come from either of these two nations, either Sumeru or Fontaine. Funny, right? Definitely not a coincidence. Definitely, and uh, are they geographically located next to each other? Um, that could be a possibility, but I don't know. Boom. Okay. To sum it up, let's just help this guy get his research data while we chill here and enjoy this event. Cheers. The juice is so good though. Okay. Basically the same description uh, of the previous event. We've played them before and it's basically just matching up what you do with what you get and then the appropriate character to fight those enemies. Boom. And for once, um, I should stop moving my glass. It makes a lot of noise. And for, and for once, we should help this guy defend Petrus because that's our entire point coming here and help this guy get his bamboo shoot soup whatever see exactly the same thing uh, as previously on the chasm it's exactly the same nothing's changed nothing is different from a uh, previous one and we got this iconic door from the first time we play this game till this point it's always this iconic door I don't know why but uh, it seems like mm, the door never changed it's like hey you got an event in a secret domain hey come to th through this blue crystal door that never changed no matter who you are from which nation what kind of event and uh, uh, and how old you are, whatever, anything, the door stays the same. First time I see that door was on the 1.5 update when they brought along the hardest boss to fight till this day, Ajdaha. Back to be bundled with Zhongli's second story quest. If you don't bring a shield, it's very hard to defeat. And, I'm, and that is one thing you should remember, bring a shield, that might help. Right, let's get straight to the event. This is our first challenge. And if you get any of events like this with the secret door, always open a teleport waypoint near it if you haven't, because it gives you its free teleport waypoint. You just unlock the other teleport waypoint near it. It's simple as that, and you get free benefits also. Here we have our trial characters as such, and it seems like they want us to do vaporize, and that, that is what Ho Tao, uh, entire point of being a DPS is. You don't do melt Ho Tao, you don't do, you don't do virgin Ho Tao because that would be psychopath, right? We play Ho Tao like this game wants us to play with Sing Chiu right here. Free Sing Chiu, free Ho Tao for us to test. It's not like we don't have any any of these characters it's just this game i mean this event at the first level i hear right here will teach us uh, simple things about hood houses i haven't even mastered since the first time i got her and, and chinese game I, I mean in chinese slang we call it one fa ways to play like the play it literally means loss to play like how do you play the character in the first place? Not, uh, either you call them one fa or so fa. Uh, both me just means like how do you play it or how do you use your hands to play it or whatever like that. Uh, that's the rough meaning anyways. So what I am trying to master here right now, this is just a basic the crystal. They don't really mean much for me at least. You just select what you need the most. Here I need pyro damage bonus. That's all I need. Uh, or should I go for crit rate? I'm basically thinking about which one gives more benefits, to, to be honest. 
if if Hood House crit rate is like crippled, and I don't think extra crit damage is going to be justified in this. Um, I'll, I'll I'll try keep keeping things simple. Uh, I'll do pirate damage bonus. And here we have Hood How, and today we will be training our one fa or show fa. Which is how do you play Hu Tao? And you might be thinking, hey, it's Hu Tao. You play your way. You just play Hu Tao. It's just it's literally a character. Hey, it's Hu Tao is just like literally any other character in this game. Why would you have to bother with her? You just play. Good questions. And I might have to answer you. Answer your question a little bit. So Apparently, the optimized way of playing Ho Tao, I'm going to show you in a moment. Sing Chiu first to vaporize and then boom! Charge attack and then cancel. Sounds simple enough. Charge, cancel, charge, cancel. Uh, no. Because I can't. No, uh, uh, you, you've seen me play Ho Tao before on like her trial before with Yelan. <sighs> It's not going to smooth. You see? Um, I'll wait until Ho Tao's skill is there. Okay, Sinchio. Skill first, first, maybe. Okay, let's try skill. See? Cancel. That one was successful, and the second one, I can't say it was successful. But I am still uh, training on uh, how to. How do you cancel Ho Tao's skill perfectly? I still. You still need to play it. Optimally, normally, like any other player, you don't, you don't just, okay, first heals herself, which is great, but you just still keep in mind of her HP, keep it below 50%, and how do you know that? Read talents, always read a character's talent, they will just show how you play the characters properly, uh, but mo still most of the time you still need to do a little bit of testings and stuff, just to try to try uh, to get the best strategy okay and fun fact there is a, there was one video I watched about uh, which is like a strategy for Hu Tao and there was an entire I think was like um, about if correct me if I'm wrong it was about seven minutes dedicating to how to play Hu Tao basically the entire Shoufa thing, it's it's just telling you how do you play Hu Tao, how do you train playing Hu Tao if you are new to this game, you, if you are so called uh, Meng Xin, you, it's crazy, just how hard, how hard it is, keep, keep, H, keep HP below 50%, bring a shield with you, always uh, re-shield again if your shield breaks, and then uh, oh no, you just burst, you just use your burst, the whole tower HP is up again, how do you bring that down? Oh no, the time runs out, and now I have to think, okay. See? Sometimes characters are just complicated. They are just as complicated as playing a piece by Chopin on the piano. It's hard, it's a mess, but it exists. As, a, as an art, as an art in this game, it's a piece of art that nobody disputes, that nobody can with, I mean, that nobody can uh, defeat, it's a piece of art, and then that, I think if you can play it, good, you're a good player, it's, it's good for you, it's you can, you deserve a recognition that you can play Hu Tao because it's hard. It's hard. I am telling you that. Okay, it's it's not like I haven't trained. I did. And I can't. And uh, some of you guys will just comment in the comment section and say, get C1 and forget about jumping. What about no? I am usually not very fond of getting a character's constellation. Okay. I am not very fond of getting a character's constellation. 
Mainly because I don't think getting a single character that is very strong is worth it compared to getting many characters that are about the same level. They don't feel as fun as getting many characters. And I'm going to tell you, and if you have ever tried not to get in Constellation, try to get as much characters as possible, you will feel the real benefits of having to experience the gameplay of every single character you get. Or maybe I'm just a collector, who knows? But for me, I think getting as much character is better. Okay, well, get your character as much as you want. If you can't play Hutao, that's fine, play, as, play her if you still like her, don't play her if you don't feel like you should. She may be hard to play, but it's an art in and by itself, an undisputable one at that. Okay, we've, 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 we've talked about Hutao so long that we've completed the whole event. And it's over, like our previous, um, I think it was like a potion that makes you strong video on 1.3. Um, no, 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 I didn't play that 2.4 update uh, back on Chinese New Year. And today, um, oh, if I get gold, I'm going to have to uh, get my inventory ready for those uh, pink crystals anyway, so there's not really any real benefits that I will get because I have to change my uh, Reorder, you know, it's, it's, it's not a it's not an everyone's problem. It's maybe maybe it's only me I'll just talk to this guy again and get more information about Fontaine So that we don't have to read leaks. I don't really pay attention to leaks anyway They just exist so they exist. I don't really read them Keep in mind. I don't read leaks. Okay. I'm just gonna get to my drink again. Great! Okay. Yes. Whoa, this guy's planning an uprising. Not good for the country, for the nation. Ah. That's how Patris. That's our entire point, okay. Let's uh, get another information from him. So, but experiment you mentioned. Ah, that's unfortunate. It, it, it would be great if I can get information. It's it's a big event. Maybe, okay, I, I'll keep his word. Maybe if that story was again retold after we get to Fontaine, then we can actually verify that ourselves, okay? Uh huh. Esting House. Oh, he was missing. Hmm, must. Hmm, must not be because of some political reasons. Hmm, I wonder. However, let's just talk to him again. We're getting too political. This is. I I, I don't think. If, I don't know if it's safe for YouTube, but uh, I hope nobody, really, nobody who watches this video, really uh, takes that. What I takes what he say or what I said. Really like. Um, but anyway, we have here we have the animal gang, the true animal group, and this is, of course, after we have the Mono Geo team and uh, um, are there any other Mono teams? I think only Geo is there. I don't think any other Mono works. Uh, here, here we are with Mono Animal Team. Uh, is that a good decision? But I think uh, Wonder is powerful with uh, Faruzan and a uh, full constellation at that. Manming, full constellation. Uh, we don't say C we don't say C six. We say full constellation. That's uh, kind of funny. Uh, I'll say C6 just for the sake of English speaking audience. So uh, here uh, we have these enemies. I uh, I will try to keep the human enemies. I uh, most no no not most all human element human enemies 
uh, or monster or guai or uh, whatever you want to call it. I think don't have they don't have elemental infusion. So I I'm going to use uh, Ayaka and Kokomi and uh, the gangs sort of stuff. We try to defeat them uh, instead of using our mono animal team because I think uh, animal is best if uh, it can do elemental swirls. Uh, it can do swirls mostly, so I, I'll keep it elemental at most. So here we go. Let's get straight into it. And here is our not our first gameplay to wander because I've used wander too many times. Uh, especially on exploration because he was so good at exploration. Um, here we have our Faruzan. I don't know uh, which constellation our Faruzan is in. Uh, and how Faruzan's uh, sixth constellation really matters to the gameplay. But here we have Noah just in case so that uh, to keep everyone's HP from reducing so much. I have to shield everyone, of course. Shield is important if you don't have a healer. That's a must. Always keep your team at least with one healer or one shield. To make sure that you survive. Just like that. And I don't really know um, the attack patterns of Wonder. I think you just attack for the most part. Yep. Just like that. Boom. Uh, for Faruzan, I think he just like a uh, skill and charge attack. I don't know. Uh, it it's how, it's what they taught me. So I'm gonna do it anyway for no reason. Uh, not even knowing why should I do that. Yeah, this game's got a whole lot of things you should remember, and there are uh, multiple ways you should play the character. But it's still fun though. So, um, I must uh, say that once again, so I might not be the best at matchmaking teams because um, I'm just following some of the most popular and I would say to be, I think, the most optimal team. So uh, at this point I'm trying, I'm trying to go... <laughs> okay, so his skill had, has ended before I used the first add. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know the benefit of using his burst while his skill is on compared to like when it, it's not. So on this team, I am completely using the team uh, that makes sense. I mean, the, that people use the most right here, which is just like this mono animal thing. So, so to speak. So as you can see. I think we're uh, a little better than last time. Boom. That was close. Uh, I don't really know if I if that counts as a point. We can't really see any any score I get here today. Eight hundred forty. So that so that Hiltro is not dead. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, here we have. Our very own team that is uh, mostly complete. We have Ayaka and uh, Lokomi. <laughs> uh, so now we have Kazuha. We're just missing one Shunho, the only UA character that fits into this in a Zuma Freeze team or um, one of the most uh, viable Freeze teams in this game. Yes. Boom. And most of Ayaka's damage, uh, as from what I've seen people say or people uh, tested out her on, it focuses on her burst. If her burst misses, then that'll be a loss of damage. Uh, but then again, um, uh, her burst is out of the three types of burst, um, I'm gonna say it, uh, I'm gonna classify burst into three categories because that's all I uh, can categorize burst in, which is either any, um, whether, which either an improvement, um, a single attack, or an automation. So Ayaka's burst uh, classify as an automation because it it definitely 
keeps attacking while you're not on the and while you're switching. So, but it also follows the enemy. So uh, it is very important to group your enemies first. Usually use an animal like that, so that this exact thing won't happen. And I think it might be because of the electrical that was imbued. I don't know where they come from. But uh, make sure to group your enemies first before using Ayaka because uh, the most important part of Ayaka is her burst and I think it's really important to try to focus to get your burst right boom like this uh, no matter which one goes first as long as uh, her burst works like this one and then uh, you'll be using an optimized version of Ayaka and uh, well as you can see right here I should have killed that falcon but I don't have any more time, so I'm just going to see how much I can do. There's literally no damage you can do uh, when you're not... I mean, you're not attacking the Falcon or something. <sighs> About um, few, fewer than 1800. Um, I'll accept that. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even aiming for uh, 2000 here. Because I know I wouldn't uh, be able to get around that much knowing that my team right here... Um, it's not really optimized. I'll, I'll try for the times two multiplier and hope that I can get a higher score. So, uh, especially on uh, these types of events, I usually just scramble around the multipliers a lot because sometimes I get a higher score somehow going around like the different multipliers and stuff. So, basically, um, it's just, see, uh, I, kill, I kill enemies a little bit early, because um, difference in level. So I think that sometimes uh, tweaking the multipliers a little bit does work for some people, but uh, not for many people. Because uh, at the point is that once you get to f enemies that are easier to defeat, you have to defeat them essentially so much faster that time for them to load and the time that you require to defeat them becomes uh, incredibly small meaning that you have a small window of error then you would have to go to a higher multiplier but that's kind of the point and the reason why it, does, it may not work for everyone for, for me I'm just going to test that because uh, I think that uh, this team was OP enough so I think it still can be improved in, in a way and I have a suspect. Uh, I mean, uh, I suspect you can do the same with this one. So, yep. Even with like a uh, swirl, you can still do some sort of damage on uh, elementally uh, immune. Upon the gale. I mean, enemies such as this slime right here, with, which has a hundred percent immunity to the the exact element that they are. Uh, and we can still do damage, which means that uh, it's not really all that useless as long as like maybe you're using them right or something like that. See, maybe, maybe they still uh, uh, they're not the exact exactly the best team. You just I don't want like to bring bring them in. Uh, but I'll say that uh, this one's pretty great uh, as long as you have Wanderer and Partisan exactly uh, with. Uh, the most effective would be uh, Partisan 6 Constellations. Yeah, the problem here, uh, we, we have like 5 seconds left, uh, but we'll talk about it. 650, 664C, uh, 600, 700, okay. We got around 700, last time we got like 800. So see, the problem was that with, uh, with lower level, I think you essentially have to uh, do so much more than you would have to do with the last level. The last level was like, hey, uh, it's a little bit forgiving, you don't need to do it in as fast, but uh, if you do, then uh, you'll get a time multiplier, so to speak, and uh, you don't have to deal with the lack of trying to load enemies after you exactly, I mean, uh, precisely defeat them, uh, which might, might be a problem for some devices, like uh, the one I'm using right now. As you, can, as you guys can probably see. So, um, let's talk about uh, the kind of team I can uh, make in this one. So, uh, right now I have uh, Wonder 
but there is uh, one, just one single problem uh, I have from the Wanderer banner. So you see, I've definitely wished on the Wanderer banner before, and of course it was a success. Uh, but there is a little problem. Well, I have Wanderer. Uh, people say that if you want to use Wonder, you have to. You might want to consider consider uh, Farzan Six Constellation. So uh, because it's a big improvement to Wonder, and people want improvement, and improvements are good, especially when she is a four star. It's easy to get. Uh, the problem is that I don't have Farzan. Four star characters are hard to get when they're not featured. Just want to keep that thing in mind. Uh, it's it's actually harder to get a four star character than a featured five star character. And not and I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. So currently the hardest thing to get uh, is a non featured five star, a standard basically standard banner of five star. Uh, until they add like a guaranteed feature, like um, hey, I wish for this until I lost like twice, then I can get him or her or whatever. And that feature until today hasn't been applied yet. And, and the fact is that uh, even the weapon banner thing wasn't a thing before. Like uh, the fates or something, or like the wishing stuff. It wasn't a thing before. It, it was like a people would just dump money in and hope that they would just be lucky. The only thing that would get you weapons back then was just like luck, period, nothing else. Uh, and that's um, that's sort of become that's, that's sort of become a serious problem. And uh, there is a video of an unfortunate situation. You can still watch the video. Oh, 1800. We actually passed 1800 this time. I, it might be an actual improvement. I'll try to go with a uh, multiplier of times two uh, in the next battle. So let's go. I think we've done uh, three. I think. No, we still have four left. Uh, I'll do the third one. And uh, this time was uh, a very straightforward. We have uh, hydro enemies, uh, mostly hydro enemies at the first, and the second we have ruins. So uh, if it's ruin we're talking about, then. Oh. Are you seriously giving us, like. Wait. Do they not want us to freeze the enemies? So, um, if I if I just go to the character selection screen and especially on the trial, we have a supposedly Dehya team, and Dehya hasn't really been kind of trying to fit in into teams uh, because uh, let me tell you, to put it into an analogy, I think that. Um, there's, like, it's kind of hard to find an analogy, especially on uh, this word that fits here. But uh, basically, here we, we either can do vaporize, burgeon, or some sort of like uh, electro charge. No, ele not electro charge. How do you call pyro with electro? I think it was like overcharge. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but that's basically it. Well. And let's see our buff. It might give us some clue about what we can do anyway. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, some sort of pyro reaction. They, they are focusing on some sort of like pyro reactions here. So they're expecting us to use a pyro character. Um. Let's see which one is like uh, the better choice, of course. All right. It's it. It might not go well. I I'm, I'll just have to warn you. It might not go well. So I I'm placing Sinchu with Ayaka to go on with uh, her freeze kind of stuff. And today we have um, they here right here. Illusion shattered. People. Uh, when people see they here, not see, but uh, uh, when they use they here, I think uh, what people no, no, people think that that uh, things. I'm just going to put a word because I'm not going to go into details. But 
I don't know. Because uh, I don't know the kind of stuff that. I've seen an analysis, of course, uh, a very specific analysis of her. Um, so, I don't really know if. Um, I'm not into, like, those crazy, powerful teams like I am, like, when I actually have three characters, uh, because that's uh, not the very thing I do, but, um, from the damage, from what I see right here, it was kind of, like, standard. Maybe people use her for different reasons or something like that. I'm not the, the professional you should be asking and advice for, especially for a character like Dehia, because um, yeah, um, I'm not going to comment comment that much on Dehia. I'll, we'll just have to see in the end results for this one. We still have like um, 40 seconds left, so. I don't really know if Ayaka fits better on the first team because I usually just defeat the ruins with freeze team because I think freeze teams is really capable when there are few enemies so you don't have to really group them together such, such as ruins, mostly ruins and uh, big enemies like uh, the quote unquote Sonic, uh, I don't know, it's like Geo Fishap or something you call them in the uh, US. Yeah, and, uh, here we have 10 seconds left and our score is only like a 600, so we can't judge her because my, it might be because we picked the time to multiplier. It might be our fault in the first place. See? Picking a lower multiplier does have some problems, such as when the enemies load in a little bit slower because of specification. Uh, Limitations or something like that. Here is the ruins. Uh, is the ruins. So uh, this will demonstrate you. Uh, it, it's a much for me, for me myself. Uh, it's my playstyle. Uh, it's much better to defeat defeat ruins uh, with freeze team because they're essentially they're stuck. They're not gonna move. And then just strike until they're dead. Strike dead. Essentially that. And uh, I don't know if I can catch up with like my previous um, score of um, uh, the thing I played before. So uh, I'll just try to. I mean, uh, most of the times, uh, like in this event, it's probably just going to be like trial characters and an Ayaka. So there's not really much to talk about this uh, here because like, um, what are we going to talk about? Like, and the previous event where we have to fight like. We we'll have to like talk about something else. It's just to get it's just for this video to not get boring or something like that. Uh, so there's not really much to talk about. Yeah, of course. Um, I might have to bring a bow, a bow character and cry with that, as if I don't already have one. I'll try to see if, 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 if the time to multiplier is actually a good thing, thing, and uh, yeah, we'll have to, to see that. And uh, it's, I think it's a little bit ironic, or it's not, it's not ironic, it's not ironic, but it's just a little bit funny. Uh, so you know the previous update before, before the 3.5, it's the 3.4, very logical. In the 3.4 update, we are basically faced with Xiao, the kind of person who appears in every single Chinese New Year. I guess, well, that's what uh, Chinese um, sort of like protectors do during Chinese New Year, I guess. Uh, so uh, here we have, and um, here we here we have currently uh, there is the Sino and Dehia banner, and before. Okay, we, we finished, so let's just see our score. We got worse. I forgot about the time zone multiplier. I'm not going to use them again. It's a trap. So previously, maybe we're just a bit lucky with that. 
So I'm gonna use times four multiplier from now on. All right, back to the topic about banners. So in the 3.4 update, uh, I, uh, it's, it's about a high thumb, newly introduced, not reruns, and then CR rerun, I think it was like a one, two, three, four time. And it's with Xiao. Okay, not really, not really a bad banner, especially because a high time, uh, the performance, the performance of a high time was very much worth it for me to wish on. So I think it's it's really a good thing for me to wish on a high time, uh, because previously I wanted to wish on uh, uh, Yelan, Be because Yelan with Hu Tao, I think they they both. They both are like the perfect combination. Like uh, after uh, Elan got released, uh, it fits Hu Tao so well uh, that I think if, if if you have Hu Tao, you're gonna wish for Yelan. If you don't have Hu Tao, you're gonna wish for Yelan because essentially uh, as a support, not support, Yelan is not support, it's a, uh, in Chinese we, we just call them Fu Si, but it's basically just saying stating the fact that she deals damage when you are not active, or in the common English slangs, you're just gonna call it sub DPS, damage per screenshot. And uh, so, basically, she deals damage while you're using other characters, and uh, that apparently shows when you use her burst, which which I think kind of similar to Singcho, uh, with a little bit of difference. That difference being Singcho's skill. I don't know we're talking about burst. Um, I don't know if the the exact details of the similarities or differences with uh, between Seisho and uh, Yelan, especially because there are many more videos talking exactly about that and going into much more details. But here we have Sino, uh, and and Sino is the only character I don't understand. I'm not kidding. Uh, usually I have a little bit of understanding. Usually when I don't understand, I only. Unders at least I understand a little bit of the ca of the characters. Like I, I can still make them work with my current lo knowledge, knowing that I only understand two percent of the characters. The only character I can say I understand about zero percent is Sino. He is the only character I understand zero percent. I don't know how he works. I don't know how he's supposed to be in the team. So it might make a mess. So let's go on and see. Uh, I might not be the best here, especially with, with Sino here. The problem is I don't know how Sino work. Alright, uh, talking about Sino, Sino is, is on this update with Dehya, of course, as we, as we all know. But did you know that the sales... Why do you talk about sales? Sales are not important, it's people spending money. And it's and all the graphs you see are just iOS. It's not representatives. Like iOS are literally just like 24% uh, of the user. I made, I made that number up. Um, it's important to emphasize that it's basically it, it at least shows you how popular a character is. Uh, based on their banner sales, and in the 2.4 update we have a Haitam and Xiao. Maybe Xiao has been Xiao has been so for so long that uh, I don't think people are going to wish for Xiao, especially for his weapon. It's kind of, stuff. It's kind of like uh, we can't find a good substitute for his weapon, especially if you're not paying any money or spend a lot. So I think people people who wish on. 3.4, especially in the early on, it's going to be wishing for a high time. A high time is Xiao is a good banner to wish on. Uh, I especially like the a high time part, though some people might like Xiao better. Uh, don't judge them. Both characters are good. The problem is though, people wish on the Hu Tao Yelan banner more. And okay, my okay, it might be just two times. It might be just a hundred percent more, right? It's one and two ratio, uh, uh, because that sounds like a more reasonable number, especially knowing that a high thumb is a good character. But no, 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 no. People are very much unpredictable. It's a big margin from a high thumb, a good character. Uh, sorry to Persians if I butcher his name. 
Yo, I'll fight them a good character awesome. with Xia, which is still good, not bad, still good, okay. Uh, with Wu Tao, a good character, Ye Lan a good, uh, Ye Lan, which is a good uh, sub DPS. They lost by a big margin. I'm not joking. I think it's a it's a good time right now to say a item was underrated. Don't debate on it. It's it's a fact. From banner cells, it speaks to itself how people react about a certain character. And I think that he was underrated, especially compared to his skill. Might I might be biased. I I literally have a good electro character, Raiden. I literally have Nahida, which is the the thing that would buff him. I might be biased on that way, but still I would say that he was underrated, especially the fact that the cells of. Okay, I'm not gonna speak up this series again. Okay? It's crazy. But, but, it's even crazier, the fact that the very next banner, after Hu Tao Ye Lan, you, are you ready for it? The worst banner sales this game have ever had. Not the, I wouldn't emphasize it like the worst banner sale, but I would emphasize it like one of the worst. Considering that it was one, a character that was not perceived very good and two a character that has an even worse reputation not even not even like even worse i think it was like the worst i think a compar comparison between the Hia and tt will just yeah speak to itself if you if you like if you would like to pick one of the those five that are better those can deal damage I mean, uh, those can still work and function in the team, except uh, TT. TT is a healer, and so. Uh, but uh, in a lot of ways, uh, she can be replaced. So I think that's kind of the reason why people think that if you get TT, you're screwed. Nothing, nothing works on TT. People, as people say, not not my word. So if they can. Managed to get a reputation equal to that. Um, and I can't say much about the future. I mean, not the future, like the state of the banner sales uh, at the current rate. Okay. And we are waiting for the next banner. Shenghe. It's okay. The next one is Shenghe, the character we've been waiting for. Oh, but wait, um, it feels like we are missing a character. Hmm, we're literally doing a, a, an event in Mondstadt. And we literally have that exact character appear in the event. It's not any, it's not a random event. It's a flagship event where you can actually get crowns. It's the main event of this update. 3.5, 3.4, I mean 3.5 updates. Hmm, Windbloom. Mondstadt. I wonder what character they forgot. Exactly what character they forgot on this update. Hmm. Hmm. And this exact character they've been for have been for forgotten for a whole year. Hmm. What character is that? I wonder. Stop being sarcastic. Eola. Or Eula if you're German. They literally forgot a character for a year that even an event that is ex exactly matches her. Mondstadt, Windbloom, an exact and a, a fun event in the Mondstadt and it's an important cultural festival in Mondstadt. Eula was German, Mondstadt. Uh, very much tied to Mondstadt. Yet they forgot! No way! They messed up the banner so much! Okay, I'm out.
By the way, is the Fenty, Mona, Ganyu, and uh, Diona team still viable in today's standard? I feel like they were the like the sort of like the optimal, not optimal, I'd say OP, overpowered team back in the day. Everyone uses that team because hey, Mona burst and then you freeze and it's going to be perpetual, as they say. Hmm. I don't really see the purpose of Diona nowadays. Uh, except from like the quote cryo battery uh, in other words it just says that she provides the cryo elemental particle for your burst I think that's it but it's not it's no use for my 197% energy recharge Ayaka uh, but I'll go with it and uh, we also got Lila which is uh, one of the strongest shields and we'll have to separate Lila from uh, Diona because why would they go together? There, there are no reasons why they provide the same buffs anyway. So uh, here I'm gonna go with uh, my usual team. Uh, the only problem here is that uh, the trial character match exactly as the character that I have. I can't go for so I don't really expect that, but since they're here. We'll have to change our plans, though. There is no escape. <laughs> yes, just to um, fit in with uh, how like the game will. So um, I've been using Raiden with Xiaoyi. I don't know if if that's a good idea. In small sort of times, I'm just well. Not now. Don't be I just try to do. Over, no mm. now you shall perish. Uh, I'm just trying to do the overloaded reaction back then when Dendro wasn't even a thing. It was uh, my overloaded team was as old as back then in the 2.0 update. Yes, it's that old, it's been over a year now. But uh, now we have Dendro, so I might have to change my mind a little, try to uh, give a sort of like um, spread. I don't know why they even call it sp spread. And then there's some sort of chain reaction that I don't even matter bother, but, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to tell you that uh, it buffs uh, one of them, either Electro or Dendro, whichever you go first, and it will change which one gets buffed. And, uh, that's going to be important. Uh, naming, I don't think it is. So it's important. Just the basics, get get the basics done, you should be able to do it great. In fact, as I'm, as I'm playing right now, I don't think my team is even in any, anywhere close to effective. As if you're just uh, picking some random characters. And then, hey, let's go fight! That's the same sort of thing as that. Let's see uh, what optimal Ayaka and Gokomi should look like after this. So um, I know that I might not uh, fully upgrade Ayaka and Gokomi since um, I still have things left not upgraded. So let's see uh, how much damage is fully upgraded would be. 15,000, not really, not that, uh, or is it, I think it's bigger, like, uh, twice as big as my damage. Also, I remember having a teammate, like, brought Diona into a domain, and uh, the healing was unpredictable. I don't know why, but uh, I might have to read her talent to try to understand more, but... Uh, it seems like her healing was unpredictable for some reason and so I can't I mean I don't understand how much of this team even work but uh, I think after playing this one I playing this event uh, I think I, I might go with 
strong so uh, because uh, my team it seems like it buffs it, it buffs cry characters uh, the problem is only cry character gets buffed and uh, when, when it gets buffed I think it results in a good damage uh, not good but better uh, than when it's not buffed so I think I might give Shenhe a go um, noting that I have almost all of the uh, proper characters to build build a good team for Ayaka, not a good team, uh, like the most powerful team for Ayaka. And uh, I think it's important to tell to people that uh, currently the Abyss, uh, I think there is a new uh, boss that uh, makes an appearance that people are rambling about. It's a worm, I think it was called Sedefwinut. Sedef, um, people are using either Ayaka or Nilo team. Pretty interesting. Especially the fact that uh, I'm currently planning on completing both of those teams. Either the Ayaka, missing Shuffle, or Nilo, missing Nilo. Okay, uh, we finished. And as usual, we still haven't got any gold yet. So, uh, it's been up for debate. I mean, Nilo has been up for debate the first time uh, she was released. In fact, uh, that was in back in 2.1 update. I was actually debating to myself whether I should wish or not. Because at that time, I got... I just got Zhongli, okay? Good. I just got... Hey, got Zhongli. Should I wish or should I save? After careful concentration, I, I decided to skip and uh, I my team, my list of characters has become what it is today. And look at that, Ahaitam. This is our time to prove that uh, Ahaitam was actually a good character. Like what we just said before and that he was underrated in the terms of, um, you know, quote, better sales. If we can even uh, use that as our basis for this, some sort of like uh, underrated thing. Huh. So, I think it should be good. I uh, always bring a high time with Electro. I don't know why, but uh, it seems like it increased his damage. Might have, to, might have to do with the reaction though, and the fact that he needs many elements of mastery. So, here, I'll pick this one, Elemental Mastery, because, well, it's a high time, Elemental Mastery. Uh, rearrange a little, uh, which character needs Yelan? Okay, kind of confused right now. Huh. Can we still do the Ayaka on this one though? Um, let's try. Yeah, we could give it a try. I mean, uh, that's what exactly we've been doing every single time on this event. Let's try to use Ayaka and try characters. Okay, I think this is uh, the last, our last fight, our last battle for this event. We've talked about a lot of stuff today. From commentary of the event uh, up until the banner and sort of like the characters and stuff. And now... Well... There's still two more events today. Uh, there will be one... Where we have to defend the fungi and now supposedly the mechanic the mechanicus is now evil and then uh, there's another one about spices I think reminds me of the time when it was like announced but it was like cancelled and uh, replaced for the next update I have never seen that happen in an event announced in the update preview yet uh, that case has never happened 
at all since the history of this game, except on that one very, very specific event. Spices from the West. And... Uh, hmm, that's a good thing, but also... like, uh, weird. Yeah, but uh, anyway... Today, um, not today, um, it's been it's been long since I find out that any gender reaction such as bloom and uh, aggravate or, or spread or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't work with cryo. And not just it doesn't, not, not like, uh, hey, hey, they don't make, uh, they, I mean, they don't intentionally I mean, we all know that they don't, they make uh, dendros so that they don't work with Kaiyu. Definitely not because of Kaiyu. Uh, so, it is to be expected that dendro doesn't work with Kaiyu, uh, but uh, the problem I am encountering right now is that I have troubles freezing enemies when uh, there are dendro reactions, whether it's spread, aggravate, or some sort of uh, bloom, hyper bloom, whatever you call it, and that. So, I have tested myself going into domains uh, with multiple uh, team compositions and actually the time when I use dendro reactions such as aggravate, spread or bloom it makes it much slower if I focus on free team such as Ayaka. And now if, if, you want, if you want to focus to on dendro then do dendro don't mix up uh, cryo with it that's uh, the lesson i learned i've tested it before in the way and uh, yeah i think that's all we can talk about today we've talked for we've talked a lot today and uh, i think it's time for me to let you guys enjoy this event and Everyone maybe you guys in. can uh, comment down below like some sort of your, your character composition and what character you wish maybe even share some of your uh, wishing and the banner results <laughs> like some stories of whatever anything that counts and so enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Illusion shattered. I see everything. Inazuma shines eternal. There is no escape. Share my knowledge. Here you are. Shine down. Scatter. Now you shall perish. There is no escape. Get detached from the world. By royal decree, we quicker the process of elimination. Okay, so we have finished our last battle of this event out of six this was the sixth which means it's our last and still we have not reached anywhere close to 2000 which is unfortunate and also to be expected let us just claim our uh, battle pass see how far it goes um only two well, well that's to be expected um it's just one event and so the last part of this event is to claim the rewards. It's the most exciting part of this event. Just claim every single thing. Claim everything. And uh, the, the, there's a bit, there's a little bit of uh, advantage we get for not having, uh, for not getting the gold 
It was to not to mess with. We don't have to mess with our infantry to try to get rid of those uh, pink crystals. But anyway, our reward is our reward, and Prime Gems is all we're here for and all we care about. And so, after having our time with this Anatoly guy, with his uh, trying to help Patrice kind of thing, so. We have finally finished this event. This event uh, was a pretty chill one. I'll say uh, that and I will see you on our next video. Bye bye.